judge overseeing George Zimmerman's murder case has recused herself due to a conflict of interest. Now a new judge has been assigned to this case. Washington's Bob Keeling joins us live now with the breaking details. And Bob, just about everyone saw this coming. Well, that's right, Jim, but there is an interesting twist this afternoon. The next judge who was in line, John Galuzzo, disclosed that he also had a potential conflict of interest because he has a former business relationship with George Zimmerman's attorney, Mark O'Mara. That's why the uh, 18th Judicial Circuit finally settled on Judge Ken Lester. Veteran jurist Kenneth Lester is now the judge appointed to handle George Zimmerman's second-degree murder case. Today, the former judge, Jessica Rex Seidler, who disclosed a potential conflict of interest last week, found legally sufficient grounds for a motion from Zimmerman and his lawyer to disqualify her. He's uh, a former defense attorney in criminal law, uh, among other things that he's done. He's uh, managed a felony docket for many years. Uh, he's just been over in the juvenile division here, and he a, a very good judge. Veteran attorney Jeff Dean says Lester is known for his quick, efficient approach, who should be a steadying influence on this highly publicized, emotionally charged case. In a case of this nature, you know, th things tend to go off into the twilight zone sometimes. But when you have a really good judge like this, it steadies everybody and steadies the system. People can have faith in what he's doing because you know he knows what he's doing. Also today, FDLE agents returned to the gated community where Trayvon Martin was shot and killed to do three-dimensional electronic mapping and measurements. Dean says he's not surprised the team is still here more than 50 days after the shooting, given that the prosecution has set the charge in the bar so high, second-degree murder. I just got an email from the 18th Circuit spokeswoman with some more breaking news. She tells us that George Zimmerman's attempt to get free on Friday, his bond hearing will go as planned. As for this new judge, uh, we did send a message to Zimmerman's attorney, Mark O'Mara, for comment, but he tells us he's in court right now. Reporting live from the Seminole County Courthouse, I'm Bob Keeling, West 2 News.